Yes, welcome back to the second stanza of the program, The Conversation, coming to you from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name remains Nelson Ekujimi, and I see you with me in the studio, Comrade Raza Koladi Olokoba, popularly called RKO. Yes, on this uh, second stanza of the program, we want to look at uh, the threats to democracy. Um, a lot of times, I see one sees uh, public office holders, ordinary man on the streets, engage in acts that are inimical to the sustenance of our democracy. Uh, you see people threatening the peace and tranquility of the country. And uh, for me, a lot of times I look at uh, such comments, I look at such uh, conduct, and I'm like, if these people recognize the sacrifices that was put in place to bet this democracy, a lot of these things will not be happening. Because this democracy was bet by blood and sweat. We lost a lot of lives. You know, you and I are practitioners of a democratic struggle under the military dictatorship. We know how many of our people uh, went under that we cannot account for. Uh, when we wake up in the morning, you are only sure of their morning. You don't know if you see the <laughs> afternoon or the night, you know, as a free being or... Maybe you'll be six feet down and below. Uh, so when I see people uh, come to make comments, uh, threatening that they will do this, they, I'm like, I hope you recognize that in a democratic system of government, my right starts where yours end. That you have a right does not mean your right is absolute. You must respect my right. We can differ. And if we differ does not mean... I, you, I should be exterminated or you should be exterminated. You have a right to your opinion. That's it. But at and every point in time, you must recognize my own right as well. And you know, that, just like you have said, that the category of people who I am most disappointed in are people who took part in the sacrifice mm. to bring democracy, democracy back on board. You can see some of them are people who is having this style of thought. And I tend to ask myself the question, have they forgotten? that until we start giving ourselves personal therapy, before we, will be, we are able to diverge ourselves from the memory of what we have gone through. Go through yeah. When we lay certain experience to people, they say it's a lie. Until mm. we prove to them that it's not a lie. Mm -hmm. Richard Ogunderu is still in... Ogunderu? Ogunderu is still there now, nursing uh, yes. nine years or 11 months in the Jewish Republic. In the Jewish Republic, He's yeah. there with the, with the other three people, we don't even know where they are again. Oh, okay. And we have... People who don't survive it. Yes. It's the people who are hey, Bagad Akato was a journalist yes. that disappeared. Yes. Yeah, uh, Alfred Iwane was assassinated. Was assassinated. So, and just like the case of everybody, too. Yes. That these are popular cases, that yes. instances that. So, if you put all these things together, you know that it's unfair to uh, uh, threaten such democracy. People say our democracy was uh, uh, given to us on the platter of gold in 19. Uh, uh, sister, and I said, ah, you are mistaken. No. <laughs> Internal threat to, to democracy. What we see is uh, equal to even the Mahumau fighters. Yes, yes, the yes. In other Kenya. people who fought for democracy in India and the rest of the world. It's, 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 it's always the same thing. Internal uh, 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 enemies of a democracy. So, for us as a people, what we need to do is to keep running this advocacy that when you have contrary opinion to government policy, it doesn't give you a license to say that that government should be shut down and that government must be brought down. No. Express your concern. Within the confines of the law. Yeah, in, this concern, in, in a manner that will encourage the guys in government to, to be able to look at your... Your, 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 your agitations or what Objectively. Yes. But the moment you are going for the jugular of a government, no government will listen to you. Mm. When you are saying shut it down, mm. I don't know where we get this kind of language from. You know, it was like um, it was like um, a, a time a, a time in the past where people say, "Oh, because we have lost election, the military should come in." And I'm like, "Do you know what we went through to to send out the military out of power?" <laughs> No, the military no, was forced to the, take the, a... The military institution is a fine institution. I don't know military. Yes. Fine institution. But, but some people, because of their position... To governor, when it comes to governance... No, the, the, the military is, is a disaster. It's a disaster. It's, it's a disaster. So, so uh, maybe we should remind ourselves that uh, great nations that, are, that remain great today, when it comes to issues that affect 
the national security, the economy of their nation, the integrity of their nation, they rally around them. If you look at what's fought by any country in the world and they survive it, even in 9 11, when it came to that, nobody said that Bush has failed, though. Yes, absolutely. They rally around Bush until yes. they got the so called uh, mastermind. And the Nigerian political class will cite American system of government, American will of life over and over again and say, they behave like an American opposition. The attempt on, uh, uh, on yeah, Trump's life, president. on uh, Trump, Trump's life, it, 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 it has the reaction. reaction everywhere condemning it. And political class in Nigeria will not, will not stop amazing me. If it was in Nigeria, ah. they would have said, oh, the, the government in power has yeah, failed. Yeah. But look at what Trump said. He so, said the yeah, people must remain united. Even President Biden, he also came out, you know, addressed the, the American people and said, no, this violence has no place in America. So politics. because I've lost an election, we are not going to be part of any initiative to say that this government must be brought up. Absolutely. Going, uh, absolutely. We have, me, in my own mind, I have seen so many things that this government has done well. I've seen things that... Uh, I need to raise a concern about. But if they ask me yesterday, today, and tomorrow, who do I still prefer? I still prefer Putin. And uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we are not going to raise a uh, criticism about his government. Absolutely. But it must be based on logic. And yes, but, but, but the point I will never get to is to say that uh, I will bring his government down. You, 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 you see, I have never advocated for, you, you see, for, for the return for, of democracy. You know, since the, I didn't agree with Thomas Sanjo. Jonathan had a challenge with his tie. Buhari too is a party that I voted for but throughout his eight years. We keep pointing direction to him. Yes, you the same we to kept on so engaging. There was no time that we some said of us the, will ever say that the the democracy if I want democracy to come back. No, we wouldn't. No, 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 you, you see, for me, for me also, it is instructive that we live in a society today whereby people are quick to point out the hills. And I tell them, if you have seen a shortcoming somewhere, you should also be able to profess solutions. Solution. That is what makes that is it. A, go a good citizen. That is it. And that's, that's the only time the person you are raising concern about who listen to you. Yes. Hey, what, what, you this is not this. the way to go. This is the, the way, way to, to go. go. This is why this one is better. Somebody else will come together and say, we will aggregate opinion. But a situation whereby, because of political interest or what have you, you, the next moment you say, oh, the government must be brought down, democracy has failed. Says who? So many who times. Who made you the barometer of, so, uh, yeah, so, of democracy? Yeah, so, so, so to measure it. Uh, and that's why most of the time, oppositions are not taken seriously in Nigeria. Because... Do we really even have opposition now? Only, they are not credible. It's only that uh, when anything comes out from the government you are not part of, no matter how robust, how correct that is, particularly once... You lost the election against that party in power. They don't ever say anything good in that government. And me, I've always said it that no, 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 there's no. nothing wrong in a party losing an election. Here. No, I'm, I'm even saying that there's nothing wrong in a party losing an election and being, the, the, a, being a viable opposition in such a way that they'll be critiquing the government in power. Such that when the government has done right, they will say, oh, this is good, this is what we would have done. When the government has gone wrong, they'll say no in their own opinion. That this uh, line is not right. This is what we feel. But that's not their pattern. Been. Yes, that's yeah. not their pattern. Their pattern is everything, is everything the government has done. And I'm like, well, if you say including this, including what they said they would do if they become the president. I am. I'm, I'm surprised. They, uh, an example. An example is, is, is the subsidy. Yes, and uh, the subsidy eyes. was a policy that every aspirant and candidate said that they are going to remove. It was even a foregone discussion about that this thing. Is, so, is, so, is, is and, corruption and it, was, it, was, it was a shock when the same people who put as part of their front line uh, 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 manifesto now start turning into to say uh, that it was because of they the would not have done it like that uh, and i asked how would you have done it <laughs> they now said no we will not disclose it now <laughs> so how do i know that you have an idea of what you want to so, do so in the mind of nigeria there are crazy confusion I, hope not, I, I think this, that is the beauty of a, a program like the conversation. Mm. We are here to illuminate the dark, the gray areas. Such that Nigerians, you put on, when people tell you things, like I tell somebody, the only authority I can never question in this life is my creator. Yes. Any other human being, you are expressing an opinion. Yes. Whatever we are saying here is for the Nigerian people to go and check it. What does the, what does the law say? Are we speaking the facts? That look, our democracy may not be perfect. Yes, 
And there's no perfect democracy anywhere in the world. We are, we are making progress. We are making progress. Tremendous progress. If, you look, at the if you look at the consciousness of Nigerians in 1990, nobody turns to this kind of program. They don't have time for it. But today, anything the fate of the country is being discussed, people pay attention to it. Yes, because it's, a, it's about our life. That's consciousness. Yes, absolutely. And there was a concern towards before that. We are talking about your life. You are watching uh, something. Uh, there, you are watching that has not directly with your life. So even when people watch about these days, and see this kind of program, they turn to this kind of program. Yes. We over do a run entertainment in, in Nigeria before. We don't pay attention. To, but today, it's not like that. Of course, because our, why, it's about our lives. That's what Nigeria must have it in that day. It's, it's rough, but it's going to get better. It's going to, absolutely. There absolutely. is no guarantee that uh, anybody will have come there and it's, going, it, it's supposed to be Eldorado. A week after the <laughs> of office. There's nobody you know, that you would You know, former President uh, Bill Clinton, when he came to Africa, that was Ghana, I think, uh, during his uh, second term, admonished African countries to mm. build strong institutions rather than strong men. Uh, because strong men will come and go. Institution. Institutions will end. Which, which, which is our own uh, advocacy yes. too. So if anybody expects that... Uh, those in government are magicians. I think they have to go to a circus show <laughs> to go and watch a uh, magic again. <laughs> and this is reality. And, and, and if that's, a, that's the argument of many of the opposition that uh, let's take the, the present direction into building strong institutions, you will agree with them. Done yes, in such a manner absolutely. that to say that uh, we pity you as a president that uh, you want to use the structure to run. You are going to have challenges. And we can't be in a position to keep running you down. Do some things to the institution. No, let, let, them even, let them even profile the way they feel we should go. We should go. So that we, as the people, we also interrogate it. Yes. Because if you profile as a, as a citizen, if anybody comes up with a position paper, I'm well home and dry to read. I'm betting. Because that is why I, I'm a human being. I have a I look at whether it's applicable. It. Whether it's apply apply it? Yes. And I'll tell you, oh, no, this thing is not realistic. Okay, can we give this a try? Because life is all about making efforts. Like we always say, no pain, no gain. And this is this kind of thinking, criticism, that brought our social development. Ab absolutely. By pessimist, you have a rule on the table. Yes, absolutely. Because it was pessimist that designed a parachute. Hmm. When aeroplane was designed, say, this came before one, they say, okay, what's the solution? And they brought up the idea of parachute. So, poison. Maybe poison. People say, oh, this is an attitude to poison. They say, why are you thinking negative? I say, it's going to get to a point where people will think of killing people uh, 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 medicine, me, 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 me medicinally. How do, so, we? how do we solve it? So, if you are a pessimist in this wise too, be productive, be positive about your pessimism. Absolutely. And that's why we encourage them to do that in whatever thing you do as an opposition. Opposition is not somebody who see. Nothing good in, in governance this country. In, in this country. Yes, in this country. That people. is not correct. Uh, and absolutely. that's what you are encouraging. Absolutely. And the rumor of there's going to be a tsunami project that is coming on board, there's, we only decimate our economy anymore. Mm -hmm. We are not decimating the economy of, of America. Well, and, uh, and also, we are not going to vote the harm too. Uh, come we will stand with this government too. Come we will not allow this country to fall. Come look over. I can tell you for free, we have been in the trenches for decades. Uh, the sacrifices those that came before us, and even some of our mates, have made to sustain this democracy. Anybody thinking who allow him to imperil it, you know, he needs to go and sleep again and drink. We will stand by this democracy. There's going to be a balance we'll of engagement. Ensure that this society survives and this society move forward. If you are thinking the negative, maybe you need a uh, deliverance. I wish you the best of luck, but you can be rest assured. We are not cowards. We stand and defend our, father, our motherland because we have no country other than Nigeria. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we want to call it a wrap. Uh, Comrade Lokoba, thank you for coming to the program. It's a pleasure. Today. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for being with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the conversation today. If you will come your way again next time, please continue to watch the conversation coming to you from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. Bye-bye and have a great day.